Welcome back to another episode of the Movie Pope Podcast, and today we are taking a look at Joker Folie Adieu. The trailer dropped, I think, was it a week or two weeks ago? Um, but we're going, to, but we're going to go and take a look and offer our reactions. Um, but before we dive in, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everybody that you know. Because if you don't, we will go mad. And without further ado, let's dive in. Yeah, further ado, I get it. Hey, Fleck, I really like the first today? Joker too. We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. Mm, interesting. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. interesting i guess we'll have to wait and see i'm curious how like i don't know there's obviously like a lot of discussion about music and i don't it's been a while since i watched the first one i mean i remember like there was times where the joker would kind of sit there and kind of dance to himself almost right i remember that was something that walking phoenix kind of like did for the character um, but kind of curious how all that's going to, I, I guess, play into this. I don't know. I'm kind of, like I said, I'm interested to see because I, I really did like the first one. I thought the first one was extremely well done. You know, I wasn't expecting much from it. Um, it just felt like, you know, a Joker quote unquote origin story just doesn't really feel like it's needed or anything. Um, so I am kind of curious to see what they do with the second one here. And hopefully it's, they could capture some of the like how good the first one was because I thought the first one was a really uh, was a really strong film. Yeah, because usually um, usually second films they don't really work out you know on the same level as the first movie. So it'd be pretty curious to see just how they're um, how they're going to pull it off. Um, now, how do you feel about Lady Gaga um, playing Harley Quinn? You know what? I'm going to say I'm fine with that, honestly. Like, I know that there's, you know, always kind of this, you know, I know she's a singer first, and there's always kind of like this stigma of like people trying to fill in that role. But, um, you know, I, I, we talked about a little bit beforehand. I mean, she was fine in A Star is Born, right? A Star is Born, right? Um, so I had no problem with her in that role. And obviously, if you're going to focus more on like adding song and that's going to be a part of what you want your joker movie to be um then you know having someone that actually could sing um is going to be a big benefit so i mean i'm totally fine with it i'm curious how it all plays out um i guess you know we'll have to wait and see because the first one kind of took me by surprise um so i think that 
for this one, I think there's a lot more uh, of a focus on it, especially because, you know, I think with the superhero genre in general, it's really taken a nosedive in quality, right? Um, so I think the fact that there's kind of this loose connection with, you know, a, a character like the Joker that uh, a lot of people really enjoy, um, I, I think that this is going to have quite a bit of weight to it. So hopefully it pans out. I'm definitely um, looking forward to see what it is. I just, uh, <laughs> I'm curious what direction they go with everything that they could do with it. Now, are you a bit apprehensive about it being music, musical or having musical elements to it? Or are you okay with that? Not necessarily. I think I'm fine with it having those elements to it. It just depends on how, um, I, I would say, how prevalent it is in it. Um, so kind of like one recent example I can think of is the 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 recent Wonka one um, that popped out. Um, and I was kind of surprised when I went into it because it was a lot more, I would say, there was a lot more musical related stuff to it that I wasn't expecting. Whereas, you know, obviously with the with the first two, there was, you know, music definitely played a role in it. But in the most recent one, it played a fairly significant role in it. I would even go as much to say that it was pretty much like a third of musical um, with how much was in there. So they kind of um, need to balance it out between, you know. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, like, right. you know, I, I think when you think of the Joker, you get all these kind of like dark themes, um, you know, had everything set up. Whereas, you know, the musical, I, I mean, look like they're really trying for something so you know i think it i'll give it the benefit of the doubt but um i think it just depends on how much they really drive into it yeah i mean i i mean just based on on what i've seen so far in the trailer i mean it's it's still you know maintaining that level of darkness and, and severity that you saw in the first joker movie which mm -hmm. you know which i really really enjoyed because it's just you know it, it's just so easy to you know to take a superhero movie and just poo poo it or or or, or do like they do with the Ghostbusters movie and just rely on like stuff that we know to kind of make the make the movie more palatable because I mean and because in the obviously in the first you know Joker movie it's set you know long before Bruce Wayne became Batman but you know they kind of drop these hints about oh this is um this is Thomas Wayne but he's yeah this kind of character in, instead of the character that. That we've all been, um, you know, been spoon fed to know. Um, now I am, I am curious to see how Lady Gaga is going to portray Harley Quinn. I'm so far, I haven't seen anything that would make me object. Um, but you know, but if um, movies have taught me anything, it's that you know what you see in the trailer isn't necessarily what you get in the movie itself. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to go into it and kind of with my fingers crossed, but it does, it doesn't come out until October. So, you know, we've got plenty of time to kind of, kind of figure out like what we think the movie's going to, how the movie's going to play out. Um, I mean, we, we also did see um, large levels of chaos in the, um, you know, in, in, in a lot of the shots. So, you know, so obviously we can expect to see more chaos and more mayhem from the clown prince of crime as it were. Do you um? I mean, I mean, do you have any um, high hopes or any expectations from this movie, or from the? Yeah, I mean, the first one, and I kind of said it at the at the onset of this. I mean, I really liked the first one. I thought the first one was really well done. Um, Joaquin Phoenix, we know how much he could disappear into a role. Um, the guy, uh, the actor, definitely feels very off kilter at times. Um, so he definitely, uh, I think. With how well he portrayed the Joker in the first one, um, I, I think he's definitely earned that right that I'm going to err on the side of like, you know what, he did such a good job on the first one. Um, there's nothing that would stop me from not being curious at least of seeing the second one and seeing what they want to do more with it. So I, I'm all for it. So um, I guess we'll know in a few months uh, <laughs> um, how it's going to turn out. Excellent. Well, let us know down in the comments below what your thoughts are for Joker Folly or do you, do you have high hopes or are you going to be a bit apprehensive? Yep. And it's a there, teaser trailer, a teaser trailer. Teaser trailer, a, that's right. Teaser, teaser trailer. Teaser but um trailer not like an official like movie trailer trailer. So But I mean, yeah, but I mean at the same time I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of glad they put that out there because we have been chomping at the bits for a while. Um oh, we yeah, need to see sure. something like that. Yes. Um, but yeah, let us know down in the comments below what you think. If you have high hopes or apprehensions, and if you've got um, if if you've got a sort of a bright um, I, I guess happy place or happy spot for um, 
Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn, or if you think they should have cast someone else in the role. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next review. Bye.